Hello, crazies. This is what's second crazy. Crazy C. Or oh, you want to get technical. Crazy C 88. I have finally decided to do a book self tour because, well, I just decided to do it. I don't know why. I just, I know, different view. I'm not sitting in my chair because my book self is not behind my chair. It's actually over here. I'm going to be starting to do it right now. Nah. That's the top, which is very dirty. So. That's, I'm a WWE fan. I got the Rocks poster. I, um, that's been out there forever in a day. Okay. Let's start with... I got the host by Stephanie Meyer. I will probably be reading that. I just don't know when. Don't say I should read it right away because I'm not like most people. I read based on what I want to read and I get, I get it up on the channel as fast as possible. And then it's Troy. This is actually probably my brother's. But we put it on myself. Uh, Troy Fall of Kings by David Jamel and Stella Jamel. And I think they're husband and wife and by are. And this actually I, I read the bag of it or the flap. It seems interesting. Uh, I definitely I might read it because it's not fantasy and we will see a basically half of my book self is fantasy. Then I have Roger Roger Zelaney's The Great Book of Amber. The complete Amber Chronicles one through ten. Even though I think he didn't complete it. Before he died, so I don't know if that's. I think he might have planned to do five more, but I don't know. I really don't know too much about this author, but I'm looking forward to it. Next is The Secret Circle by L.J. Smith, but it's actually Captive Part 2 and The Power, so it's the, the second bind up. My brother bought The Secret Circles and. He bought it when he bought Vampire Diaries. And I think he meant it by the first part, or actually he, didn't, he may not have known it was the second part. But I will go buy the first part and probably read it. I think he's done good. I read the back of it, which I won't read to spoil it. I found it interesting. I found reading the back of it. It was interesting, very good. Piqued my interest. And then I got Vampire, or Vampire Diaries, The Awakening. Volume 1 is actually the television cover. I like the show. I haven't read the book, but I do like the show. The show is very interesting. It's basically Civil War time. I love the Civil War. Next is The uh, Last Crusader. A novel about Don Juan of Austria. By D. Like, by Louis D. Wall. I think I said his name, but. It's basically historical fiction. Well, it's probably not even fiction. It's, I mean, bi it's a biography, not historical fiction. It's biography. So I'm looking forward to reading this because I love reading those type of novels. And then, the first of the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones. My brother bought that. He was looking for something to read and. I think he couldn't get into it, but I think I will. I don't know when I read it, but I will. And then I got the Stephen and Seep series, or the first three Stephen and Seeps Magic, Flight, and Physics. And then Bryzenge, which actually I just bought in this. I just didn't do Hall because I only bought one book. I decided not to do Hall, I decided to do a book stuff to one. Then I have Merlin's Dragon. The first in the Merlin Dragon Trilogy by T.A. Barron. Terrific author. Then I got uh, book one of the Bronze Cantella. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Cantells and based by Tracy and Laura Hickman. I bought it 
when I was like 10th grade, I think. I never read it. I might read it just to see how it is because I think it's going to be good. I bought it when I was like, oh, I think it's going to be good. But I never read it. So actually, I think I got into the... No. I bought it when I was in 8th grade because that's when I got into uh, T.A. Barron in 8th grade. So and Then I got my Sotuko, my calculator books, and then my my pocket dictionary and my pocket the source and then a bunch of uh, magazines boys life boys life and uh, WWE magazines and then an art book and then down here they saw my classic and my uh, baby books if you want to call them baby book like the Snoopy the dog so uh, Pokemon I'm I was into Pokemon and the person who bought this, it was my aunt and if I said I wanted Pokemon cards or Pokemon games, she bought everything but what I asked for. So she would buy the, the clothes, the toys, everything but the Game Boy games. I, I asked for the Game Boy games and she bought everything but that. And then we got... Ichabod and the Headless Horseman, uh, a good thing of Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln. The Magic Treehouse series, which are incomplete, but I used to love this series. Actually, I still do, actually. Then it gets into my classic literature. Uh, Charles Dickens, Great Expectations. Uh, a Seventh Piece by John Knowles. Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Lord of the Flies by, uh, I forgot his name, William Golding. Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Last of the Mohegans by James Fenmore Cooper, which is actually a pretty decent book. I tried reading uh, the others in the series. I just couldn't get into it as much as Last of the Mohegans. American Tragedy by Theodore Dreiser, a dresser. This is a good book. I actually seen the movie that is based on, which I believe the movie is A Place in the Sun. But this is a great book. I recommend it. It may be thick. You see how thick it is. But I recommend it. I'm going to try to get through the through the rest kind of fast, so I don't want to try to do a 10 minute video. Uh, Way for Godot, Frankenstein, Death of a Salesman, Uncle Tom's Cabin, House on Mango Street, The Avengers of Huckleberry Finn, The Call of Purple, and then that's basically all my classics, and then I ran out of room on the bottom shelf. Aragon, Eldest, The Alchemist, and then the bottom stuff is basically all my fantasy novels. Or sci-fi. Twilight Saga. The Air Chronicles. Lost Souls of Merlin Saga. The Great Tree of Avalon Trilogy. And the Harry Potter series. Wicked. Witch and Curse. And Gone. I know my book self. Let me pan out. Yeah, I know. I got to back up. That's my whole book self. I don't have a lot of books. But the top self, the one that I saw first, that is all the books I have that I have to read. That's my basically my two red self. The middle self is my classics. The bottom self is my fantasies. So I hope you like the book self tour and Live and let live and keep on reading. Hope I talk to you later. Bye.